everybody. It is like, oh, I don't know, six something at night right now. I wasn't planning on vlogging today. I was just gonna give our family a little bit of a break, but I am going to make this video just for reference purposes for myself and for anybody else who might need this. We are headed into the pediatric urgent care that's in our town because Everly just in the past like hour or two has started getting this horrible, horrible cough and she's like really struggling to breathe. Um, not like struggling to breathe like a lot, but she's like kind of wheezing. So we're gonna take her into the pediatric care area and have them assess her before we try going to the emergency room. Um, I'm hoping that we don't have to go to the emergency room, but it kind of sounds like she might have croup. Um, this is not plugged in for anybody who wants to know. It's just, just a cable. Which they said was okay to chew on, right? So we just had x-rays, which were terrible. They have to put you in this machine. It's almost like when they're in like a jumper or a walker, so her feet were dangling down, and then there's like these two plastic tubes that come up around her and she's gotta hold her arms up. And she just screamed and cried, and the look that she was giving me was the saddest thing. I know. I know, baby, we're trying. They're gonna come suction you out. She got a bunch of tests run for like the flu and RSV and all that stuff, so. seem kind of happy. Did that suction help you? They did lots of good suctions on that nose, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Don't, don't eat the phone cord. Don't eat the phone cord. Hi. Hello. He's you're like a drool machine. You're a drool machine, aren't you? You want to say what you have? They had tested positive for RSV. Okay, they tested positive for RSV. And they suctioned you out really well, which you really didn't like. The x-ray was horrible. Horrible. That was like the saddest thing I've ever seen. They basically put her in like this tube and you have to like hold their arms up and then they put them in this plastic tube so that their arms stick straight up like this and then the chest plate goes here and I could just see her eyes like over top of this chest plate like this and she's just looking at me so scared and so sad and it was really hard wasn't it but it had to happen and your chest was clear and then they suctioned your nose out which you really really hated right you didn't like that at all and now you're just kind of wheezy sounding But for RSV now, they don't really do anything. Um, I guess there's a bunch of studies shown that the breathing treatments that they do and the steroids and all that stuff that they do or used to do for it don't actually help. So the things that they did was they suctioned her out really well and they did like a saline, kind of like a neti pot thing and then suctioned her out, got a lot of goop out. They gave her some meds when we were there, like Tylenol and some other things, right? You're on amoxicillin already because you already had ear infections. And they said to just keep suctioning her out as needed. So that's kind of where we're at now. She is the easiest little baby. So she's, even though she's really sick, she doesn't, I don't think she like looks and sounds as sick as she actually is because she's just such an easygoing kid. Right, because you're just such an easy going kid. Because you're just such an easy going kid. Which I'm very thankful for. Because I think your daddy would agree that if Kaylee was in this position right now, we'd all be dead. Right? If Kaylee was in this position right now, we'd all be dead. 
I think so, because Kaylee would have murdered all of us. Wait, but you just did you have your little baby. You just did you have your little baby. Love you. I love my Abby. Mommy should probably button your shirt so it stops doing this. What do you think? You sound so sad. Hi. You want to say good night? You want to say good night? I know you can't talk yet, but if Maddie was up, she'd say give the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.